Hello and welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the RDA Paul Pogba and Jesse Lingard leave Manchester United Official club statements have been released And um, I think I'm going to approach this video a lot differently more, more, for, more so because I just think the way personally I probably feel about Jesse and Paul Pogba Is not that I would say that I'm in the minority with this actually You know, And by all means I don't like um, have a problem with anybody who thinks differently but I'd like to say to Paul Pogba and Jesse Lingard that um, even though it didn't end well, even though the majority of the fan base didn't like, you know, anything, I'm not going to specify, you all know what the fan base didn't like about you both. I myself, I think, would like to say thank you. Thank you to Jesse. Thank you to Paul. Um, especially, I remember Paul Pogba. When we signed him, it was, it was absolutely amazing. Um, I was a big fan of Paul Pogba before he came back to United and um, I remember that day when we signed him and I was just, it was just so exciting, it was so exciting. He came, um, he won us Europa League, he won an EFL Carabao Cup, whatever you call it. And yes, it hasn't been perfect, but I always thought what could have been, what could have been with Paul Pogba. But like I said, I think I might be in the minority in this, but I would really like to thank Paul Pogba and Jesse Lengard for what they've done. And you know, it's not something that many of these current players have done for Manchester United and that's won trophies at this club, you know. So even though it's not what we wanted it to be, it wasn't a Premier League, it wasn't a Champions League, yes, Paul Pogba didn't perform to what everyone expected, Lengard didn't perform anywhere to what we expect, I still like to thank them, you know. And yeah, I think that's all I got to say there. But I'm going to read the, the club statement, so just smash like on the video to subscribe if you are new. We'll start off with Paul Pogba's um, club statement and it goes as follows. The club can announce that Paul Pogba will leave Manchester United at the end of June upon the expiry of his contract. Um, the Frenchman has enjoyed a long association with United having joined the club's academy from just the age of 16. Pogba quickly progressed to the ranks and impressed the under 18s and swiftly moving upwards in the reserves. He first uh, drew widespread attention as part of the Youth Cup side that achieved the club's unprecedented 10th success in 2011, playing both legs in the final that year. The following season, he was granted a first-team debut under Sir Alex Ferguson in a 3-0 League Cup win away at Leeds. Um, in the summer of 2012, due to a strong competition for places at Old Trafford, Paul Pogba joined the Italian giants Juventus, and we all know how that went. Um, he absolutely did amazing things at Juventus, and he probably looks like he might be heading that way again. But um, yeah, he was immediately installed within the heart of Jose Mourinho's new look midfield when he came on his return, and his first campaign back in M16 was a strong success after a sublime second debut against Southampton, where he uh, wooed the crowd with his all-round midfield mastery. Pogba started two cup finals that would both result in the Reds lifting silverware. First, he started in the 2017 League Cup Final against Southampton, um, which resulted in a 3-2 win thanks to Zlatan's dramatic, dramatic leg winner. The Swedes scored twice, you know. Um, everything else is just talking about everything else he's achieved. I'm not going to read it all because, you know, it's just a lot of history. We all know what it is. He's then also mentioned the World Cup success. Obviously, I mean, it's not, it's got nothing to do with United, but he was at United at the time. And obviously United will not miss a chance to um, slip that fact in there. You know, any PR is good PR for Manchester United. And then it goes on as follows. Um, injury problems resulted in just 22 appearances across all competitions in the 2019-22, sorry, 2019-2020 season. Though United battle and encouraging third place to finish under Solskjaer. Um, it was then also said Paul was also instrumental in Europe, coming on half-time Europa League round of 16 against AC Milan. He produced a sublime solo goal in the San Siro, edging 2-1 to United on aggregate, delivering the tie's decisive moment. He scored again in the semi-final at Roma and was uh, unable to pre prevent the red slipping to an agonizing 11-10 penalty shootout defeat against Villarreal in the Europa League final. And that, we know how that one went. And then they just carried on talking about his appearances in under Solskjaer. And then it goes as to follow. But for a boy that joined the academy at 16 to make over 200 United appearances and left the Youth Cup along with two other major pieces of silverware, not to mention the World Cup at an international level, is something that he should be applauded and celebrated. Everyone at the club would like to congratulate Paul on his successful career and thank him for his contributions at Manchester United. We wish him all the best for the next step on the remarkable journey. And I think, to be honest, 
I couldn't really say it better than myself, you know. I know there's lots of bad blood with the fan base at this club with Paul Pogba. But like I said, it's up to you. And the way you see it or the way you might read the whole situation, some of you guys will be celebrating that Paul Pogba is gone. But you know, for me, you know, personally, like I said, I really liked Paul Pogba as a player. I think to replace what Paul Pogba had is very difficult to do that in modern football. You think about, you know, let's just think about on paper what Paul Pogba had and the attributes, you know. He was tall, he was physical, he was pretty fast, he could shoot, he could dribble, he can pass like no other person, you know. So, Paul Pogba is a very hard midfielder to replace, whether we like it or not, you know. So, how can we replace Paul Pogba? You know, signing maybe a couple of good midfielders would be a start, you know. But I think, like I said, it's very unfortunate. And um, I must also say that this also is not only about Paul Pogba, but we shall also read... Jesse Lingard's statement. And let me just check how long this one is, similar to Paul Pogba. Okay, so the club. Now, with Jesse, actually, before I read the statement with Jesse, with Jesse, like I said, I think the same thing, except a little bit less, I would say, how can I say this? Less positive about Jesse for me personally, just because me and Jesse never really, like, you know, synced like that, you know? Like when Paul Pogba came, I was excited, you know, he's a player I really like. With Jesse Lingard, it wasn't really about that. But when Time came to shine, Jesse Lingard stepped up and he also helped win us a trophy. So I always thank him for that. That That is for sure. Even though he slipped off drastically and, like I said, Jesse Lingard would never be good enough for Manchester United. I never would have wanted him and I think this is the right move for them both. Um, yeah, it was just on a less, more positive note that Jesse and I um, depart. But yeah, anyways, moving on. Manchester United can confirm Jesse Lingard will leave the club when his contract expires. Also at the end of June, the academy graduate. You know, again, 20 years, um, having originally joined our under-9s team in 2001. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone remembers that famous picture of Lingard as a, as a kid also training there with Ronaldo. I'm sure many of you guys remember that. But then again, following various low spells in the championship, Jesse made his uh, United debut under Louis van Gaal in 2014 and became a regular presence in the first team for the following season. He scored six goals. 40 appearances across all competitions during the 2015-2016 campaign, including this, a stunning extra time winner at Wembley as United came from behind to be Crystal Palace in the FA Cup final and sealed the 12th triumph in the competition. And for that, Jesse Lingard, I do thank you because to have that moment and especially to do it in a final when it matters for the trophy is not something many players can say. So I do thank Jesse Lingard for delivering that for the club. And then he read the club statement just went on, you know, just speaking about the rest of his career. And talked about how he was utilized as an upper 10, a winger, occasionally withdrawn forward. And got continued to be an uh, important attacking figure under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. But did he wait, wait, eh, Not really, not really. I mean, for a season maybe, but, you know, overall, it really wasn't like that. But um, anyways, I digress. He caught the eye while alone at West Ham during the second half of the 2020-2021 20, 20, season, season, which he did. Again, we went to West Ham, we did very well, scoring 9 times in 16 games to help David Moyes' side reach the Europa League spot. Then God returned to United after the summer and he came back to haunt the Hammers, curling home an 89th minute winner in a dramatic contest at the London Stadium. The goal would turn out to be the last of 35 strikes for the club. He, came, he first came to as an 8 year old. Now age 29, he leaves with 232 United appearances and 32 England caps under his belt. And again, we'd like to thank, we'd like to take this opportunity to thank Jesse for all the memories he's helped create during his two decades here, and wish him all the best of luck in his future career. Again, no bad blood. I think there's nothing else to say. And like I said, you know, I think lots of fans today will be celebrating the fact that Jesse and Paul have left, um, almost as a win. And like, like, don't get me wrong, for the sake of Manchester United and the club, this is what is correct, and this is what we need to move forward as a club. But instead of just sulking and complaining about Paul Pogba and complaining about Jesse Lingard and what happened at United, I'd like to take this opportunity to also thank both of them for delivering us trophies and um, special memories, at least to me personally. It might not be the same for all of you guys, but for, for me personally, I remember the Jesse Lingard goal. I remember Paul Pogba's time. I remember when he signed. I remember when he won trophies with Paul Pogba. I remember the World Cup with Paul Pogba. So thank you for all the memories, Jesse and Paul. Wish you all the best. And yeah, other than that, I shall see you all very soon. I hope you all have a good day. Uh, do smash a like on the video to subscribe if you are new. I shall see you all very soon. Goodbye.